Ladies and gentlemen, Kay Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up 0.6% on the S&P. Looks like NASDAQ is the only index with red print today. Uh, pretty much flat though, of, you know, 0.17% negative on the NASDAQ while the S&P is up about 0.6% there. Semiconductors up about 0.4%. Small caps outperforming today with a 2.4% gains dow 0.7 banks almost two percent there energy uh 0.4 transport almost two percent biotech is up about one percent there grayscale bitcoin continues to struggle here down about 1.1 percent gold and silver is pretty much pause day today vix is down dollars up a little bit treasures bond treasury bond is down about one percent there so let's stick with the s p spider 65 minute chart here so looking at today's price session this is where we close we've anticipated further downside today we gap down there's a little bit of a hesitation there in the first hour and we threw that hammer candle on the second hour right on the midterm moving average 50 percent retracement and the gap area we talked about the we talked about the last night's update last night's analysis that this is a level that 384 385 level is the level that buyers need to protect and as i zoom out a little bit later in this video you'll know why that 385 ish level is important level this is third hour so we saw the continuation micro term pivot uh you know held above closed above so i think once that you know that third hour continuation confirming that hammer candle that's a textbook hammer there with a long upper wick small green candle body third hour we saw that follow through and then a fourth hour pause fifth hour continues sixth hour the last hour we got up here and hit that short-term moving average and we're just kind of stalling there a little bit on the last wire but we closed the sixth hour in a positive note, uh, you know, emphasized by this uh, green body there. So pretty much after a gap down, uh, that gap was filled quickly. And I, I think that was a good thing that buyers have done, quickly fill that gap right away. And then we continue to lower. And so that once that this down gap was filled on that first hour right away, you see that upper wick, that made a way for the third hour and fourth hour and fifth hour and sixth hour to continue. Because we know that when the gap gets filled, it's gonna act as instant resistance. And it did that, right? Because that first hour gap down, went up, filled it, and then the lower wick is telling us a story that on the second hour, this thing continued to tumble to the downside Buyers came up, stepped up, protected this level, and then that's when we saw that rally there. So let's zoom out, follow up on why this level was an important level here. First of all, let's check out that midterm moving average, that blue dotted moving average. I've not changed this setting on this move, uh, you know, midterm moving average. And you can see how this is important level, this important pivot. Talked about how it has a pretty impressive resume looking at the previous price action and we see that this is not a mistake this is not a just dumb luck that we found support right on that midterm moving average today coinciding with the 50 percent retrace all of this level we talked about not to mention this gap area is still holding. What did we talked about yesterday that there is actually this was a gap like right here. Like this was that entire gap from what day was that? March 9th. We talked about how it's okay to feel some of it, but buyers want to make sure to protect 50 to 70 percent of that gap. And I've given you that exact level, which is coinciding with that midterm moving average. And that's exactly what it did today. You can see right here, right, where the midterm moving average is residing, coinciding with that gap area, and the 50% retracement. So we have a important support areas colliding in that vicinity. And we can see that we saw that rally. So looking at things 
in the short term despite the fact that we did see this rally today i still have to give benefit of the doubt to the sellers in the short term why because we still have lower lows and lower highs right so this is true we are still in the short term downtrend right but this is not enough to only understand the short term you must understand the midterm are we bullish or bearish in the midterm we must be fair because i was fair with the for the bears here with their lower highs and lower lows giving them the benefit of the doubt right the bears in the short term but in the midterm are we bullish or bearish obviously we are bullish in the midterm with the higher lows and potentially somewhere in this vicinity market trying to discover that higher low we don't know that for sure until this thing gets up and start cultivating that higher low and higher high in the short term right and i talked a lot about this uh last couple weeks last maybe a month maybe several months that market moves in a fractals where there will be fluctuations within that midterm uptrend right that's why it's important we understand short term mid term long term primary macro and secular so i think there's a good thing that i see is that gap is still open why is that why does that matter you might ask do you guys remember back in march 4th or 3rd we saw this very abrupt sell off and if you guys go back and check my analysis back in third and a fourth and fifth, I talked about if this gap remains open, it's going to favor the buyers. We got the long-term moving average in that vicinity. And that's what happened. This gap was never filled. You see this? This gap was never filled. And that's where we bottomed. This went from 370 to all the way to 398. We V-shaped higher so quickly so now this gap being open it's going to favor the buyers let's check out that awesome and see if it tells us anything else anything more you know supplement to what we already figured out on tonight's analysis so looking at the oscillator here so what i see first of all we see lower in the short term we see lower low that's definitive lower low there right that's a low that's a lower low on the oscillator we actually do have slight higher low there so we actually do have bullish divergence we have that bullish divergence here for this to confirm we'll need to see this thing getting up here that recent high there and then start cultivating in its own higher low and higher high if we can see some like that and see we can see that this thing we we do see that cross there um and if we want to see this thing bullish divergence actually playing out what we want to see is we want to see the price continuing to advance and reclaim first of all we got to get above that short-term moving average of falling down it's been acting as resistance here we need to rec we need to get above that break above that and then above that and then we're gonna start cultivating eco highs pulling back maybe and then riding that short term as a support and if this move if this oscillator continues to move to the upside breaking above this falling resistance i think at some point here there will be a full confirmation and the uh, market may be ready to get up here and fill this gap i'll come back for you enjoy your evening and good luck trading tomorrow